Some legal observers insist the filing proves what President Trump and many of his supporters maintained all along, specifically that opponents were spying on him and that Hillary Clinton's campaign lied about its involvement. At issue, Durham's memo pointing out Clinton's campaign paid for computer research to link then-candidate Donald Trump to Russia, mining data from Trump Tower and later the White House, a claim Trump has been repeating for years. They spied on my campaign well, There's no e real evidence of that. Of course there is. The 13-page document sparked opposite reactions from the 2016 presidential rivals, Trump calling it the crime of the century, Clinton a fake scandal. This kind of unauthorized access of a computer system or access that goes beyond authorization that you've been given is a federal crime. Durham's latest filing stems from the case against former Hillary Clinton campaign attorney Michael Sussman. He is accused of lying to the FBI. According to Durham, Sussman claimed he didn't work for her campaign when he went to the Justice Department pushing a Russia collusion narrative between Trump Tower and a Kremlin-linked bank. Sussman's legal team followed this latest filing with a motion to dismiss Durham's case, calling it prosecutorial overreach. In the filing, Durham suggests Sussman's allies exploited government databases to snoop on the Trump White House, saying cyber researchers had access to this trove of data through a federal government contract. It's probable or possible that, in essence, a political presidential campaign was using uh, cyber tools to spy on another campaign and then continue to do that spying once so today, the other candidate became president. In the rebuttal filing, lawyers insist Durham is wrong, arguing that the data was properly obtained and actually gathered while Barack Obama was in the White House. Sussman's lawyers also claim they found potentially alarming links from Trump to Russia and say it was within the purview of their government contract to look for security threats. Some legal analysts say the document document isn't the smoking gun evidence conservatives are touting it to be. I don't think you can credibly call this, uh, you know, illicit spying. Um, this was, you know, really cybersecurity experts and analysts kind of doing what they were supposed to do, um, which is look for suspicious patterns. So far, Durham has not charged anyone with spying on Trump. The filing also did not state that any content from the White House communications was compromised. It's just sort of striking that whether or not you think they, they might have done something questionable, um, Durham himself doesn't seem to have regarded it as criminal. Republicans are criticizing Actually, certain media outlets for not pursuing yeah, this story with the same the vigor as they did well, Russia allegations. If this was the other way, if this was a story about the, how the Trump campaign had hired some data experts and others to go out there and, and do this to a, a President Clinton, this would be like we wouldn't be able to talk about anything else around here. Compare that, critics say, to Russian collusion allegations against President Trump dominating more than 2,600 minutes of airtime on the major network's evening newscast through the first half of 2019. In Washington, I'm Tara Mergener, CBN News.